Good morning YouTube, my name is Jeremy and today I'll be showing you how to get the App Store working on your Hackintosh. Alright, so if you've got a Hackintosh you built yourself and you can't get the App Store or the other Apple apps working, chances are it's because Apple sees that it is a Hackintosh and they don't want to give you access. Uh, I got a quick fix for it, it's real simple. What you're going to need is Clover Bootloader and the Clover Configurator. Once you get that installed, you're going to go ahead and open up the Clover Configurator. Going to go over here to mount your EFI, down mount EFI partition. Once you do that, you'll see it mounted on the side. Go ahead and open that up. EFI, Clover, and you'll see the Clover config file here. You're going to open up that, double click. Once you get that open, you're going to go to SM BIOS and this is the number you're going to be changing, the serial number here. Don't worry about any of the other information up top, you're just going to be worried about the serial number. So from here, in order to get the serial number, you're going to look down in the description, I've already got it for you. You're going to go ahead and open up the Apple symbol up here, down to About My Mac. You're going to see the version you're running, so I'm running OS X Yosemite version 10.10.4. You're going to get the name of your Macintosh right here and down here you're going to see that same serial number as you do over in the configurator. Alright, so let's get that started. You're going to go down again in the description. You're going to get the serial number, so look for your Mac. Again, it's right here. Look for whatever it says up here. You're going to look for it in the description. Once you find your Mac, you're going to go ahead and copy that serial number, go back to the configurator and paste the serial number right here under serial number. Once you got that pasted in there, go ahead and file save. And once you've saved it, go ahead and restart your computer. Okay, and we just want to get everything reset so when your computer boots back up, it's going to load your new serial number. All right, once you got your computer booted back up, you're going to go again, open up your Clover configurator. You're going to go mount EFI, mount EFI partition, and again you're going to see it on the side here. Open that up, open up EFI, Clover, and Clover configurator. Double click on that again, it'll reopen. Once you got that open, again you can go to MS BIOS, and you should see your new serial number populate over here. Alright, and that's the new serial number you put in there. Once that's all done, you're going to go over here to RT variables, click calculate. Okay, and now what you're going to do, once it calculates, you're going to see your new serial number pop up under serial number. This is the same serial number you put in earlier. Alright, as long as that shows up there, if that does not show up, go ahead and go back to that first step of going into MS BIOS, paste your serial number in there again, save, and restart your computer and uh, keep doing it until it pops up over here under serial number. Okay. Once that shows up under serial number here, you're going to go down to ROM. You're going to copy that number there and copy and paste it up here into ROM up here. So you're going to paste that there. Then go down to MLB right here, copy that, and go ahead and paste it into MLB up here. Okay. From there, what you're going to want, <coughs> booter config, go ahead and change it to 0x28, and active config, 0x3. Okay. From there, you're going to go to file, save, and restart your computer. Once you've got that all done, as soon as your computer boots back up, go ahead and down to the Apple App Store log in and if everything goes right you'll be able to log in now I spent a while looking for this hack now I mean just like any other Hackintosh build you know it's all about getting it to work it takes a while takes some time it took me a better part of two days reading a lot of forums uh, watching all the YouTube videos I cannot find a video on YouTube for it so I'm posting this one I hope this helps if you liked it and it works for you, please like at the bottom and subscribe. And as always, have yourself a nice day. Bye-bye.